What's good, family? So, mash the like button, subscribe, and lick off the bell. So, as you man have seen by the title, and on your screen, your man, the YB, received a leaked photo from AJ's camp, one of my insider dons. Yeah, sent me this photo. Essentially, there's evidence that AJ's right elbow was mashed up. So, you can see the, the support. Now, when I say support, I mean you can see the bandages and whatnot around the elbow and the bicep. Now, some people will say, "Why, B? That's just compression gear. That's just support gear." But we can easily disprove this, and we can prove that there was clearly some sort of issue going on. Because if it was support gear, if it was general compression or normal sporting utility gear, then he would obviously or likely have it on the other arm too. Now, so the fact that there is no support on the other arm implies that there was an injury on the right arm but me you might know my position on this bottom line guess what i genuinely believe aj was impaired against ruiz i came out on the record with that opinion i believe he was concussed and he had neurological damage going into the ruiz fight at which point we held Yes, AJ is somewhat responsible because he's a grown ass man who should have took responsibility and said, listen, I don't care about the zone, I don't care about New York, I want to be, make sure I'm, I'm on my game, I can't afford to be unwell. Bearing in mind as well, people, the Ruiz fight really was the perfect storm in as much as not only did the opponent change, this wasn't normally, uh, at best, you can get away with one problem. Okay, opponent change. You had two massive issues. Opponent change and critical injury. That's a big no-no. However, yes, I hold AJ responsible, but guess what? Historically, what is the historical cliche surrounding fighters? You have to say, sometimes you have to save a fighter from themselves. Where was Eddie Hearn? But most importantly, forget about Eddie Hearn. Where was AJ's team, Rob McCrappen? Because really, Eddie Hearn isn't in the gym. He, d he wouldn't see the severity of any concussion. Or he wouldn't really notice the neurological symptoms. For example, if I'm training an athlete 24-7, and you know when your athlete's sharp, or when potentially your athlete's concussed, or potentially your athlete, yeah, yeah, potentially your athlete's been concussed, and he's acting funny. Eddie Hearn, who pops in and out, he's not going to notice the neurological damage or changes. But then again, neither is Rob McCrappen because he's about 50 IQ and super duper dopey. So he, he didn't notice either, to be, to be fair to him. But again, it falls back to AJ. AJ, yeah? Your team put you in the ring concussed. And yeah, you're going to sit there and say, oh, I'm humble and I'll take responsibility. But no. That's the reason you have teams. What's the point of having a team, yeah, if you're going to make all the decisions yourself? You might as well sack them all. If you're going to do your own training, your own strategy, what's the point of having a management team just to sit there and rub you off? I don't get it. And I believe that's what's happened. Apart from Eddie Hearn, who does bring some value, he brings some promotional value, AJ's management team, what do they manage? They don't manage his career. AJ's training team, they don't manage his training, no cardio, no strategy, no plan have an ass, no skills have an ass. So right there, AJ's management don't do no managing, because a, a great manager, if you look historically, and that's why people give Frank Warren credit, whenever Frank Warren's fighters have a sniff of anything, they pull the fight. Now, again, I believe there's a balance, don't get me wrong, AJ's never pulled out of a fight before. Fish Eyes Warren fighters, they pull out way too much. But there's a balance there. No one's going to be mad if you've, if you've pulled out once in your career. Especially when, if pulling out means that your fans get to watch you win. How many AJ fans would rather have seen him pulled out and then beat Ruiz? I would have. <laughs> so what are you trying to prove here? Or is it really all about the money? Well, you know what, who cares if I lose? It just means I'm going to make $80 million next time. Maybe that's what it is, people. And I'm, in a way, these fighters are incentivized to lose. AJ was making 30 $40 million. 
He made 80 when he lost. And that's why I do believe there is a level of conspiracy associated with this rematch. If AJ comes back here and blows him out the water, it's going to be suspect. If that makes sense. It's going to be super duper sus. But anyway. Back to this point. My, where I'm going with this is, is that the first time. I'm not even sure if, I, I, you know what, never mind sure. I don't even care if your elbow was hurt. My point is, yes, AJ, but everyone here needs to take responsibility. You messed up in the first one in with Ruiz, and you made no changes to your team. You kept all of the goofy dudes around who poorly advised you to go in there impaired. Now, it happens again. Allegedly. Your arm's half bust. Now, I'm not sure I believe it, because like I told you before, AJ was shilling about a KO. He was shilling Kronk style. So if his arm was bust, why would he be shilling Kronk style? Now, equally, I did also hear that apparently part of the reason he didn't do the open workout was because he was resting his arm. He didn't want people to see that he wasn't using his right arm much, which would also make sense. If your right arm's hurt and you've been nursing it, you don't really want to be using it too too tough in, in the open workout. So there is another sign. But anyway, like I said, bottom line, for your fans, for your career's sake, if it's not all about the money, yeah? Because it, how it's coming across to me is, is almost like, well, let's put the fight on, let's make the money, and let's not... Because think about it, the only, the only advantage yeah, of not putting it on is money. Oh, we don't want to refund the tickets. We don't want to miss the pay-per-views. That's what it feels like. Well, that's the only benefit. There's no other benefit. At all. So it's really just a gravy train. Which, by the way, is AJ's own words. Don't worry, people. I'm going to get back on the gravy train. After following the process some more. And it's sad because a lot of your fans don't look at it like a gravy train. They, they, they feel... They feel more spiritually involved in a gravy train, but that's how you man see it. And that's why I'm, people have said, why be you've turned into a hater? No, I'm just not on the gravy train no more. This for me wasn't about a gravy train. There's a reason I've said certain things and I had so much belief, but I'm not going to... Why should I keep talking about belief and my man talk about gravy train? That's not right. So I'm off the gravy train. Until I see some, until I see some of the things I've been talking about. Because you earn, people don't, the YB don't shield for no one. You earn the YB's respect. You don't just get it. You don't get stroked off for nothing. No doubt. This ain't no Tyro and Booth thing. Yeah? Now anyway, listen. The last thing I want to say is, all in all, I just can't get my head around. It's fair enough saying, well maybe they're all in on it. Maybe they're all in on it. Maybe they all just want to milk the money. Which, by the way, that, is, that has been an allegation that's been made. Because from my point of view, people with integrity would say, listen, listen, Eddie, I don't care about the money. I'm making a stand. Rob McCrappen could say, if Rob McCrappen was worth anything, he'd say, listen, my fight is injured. It's not happening. Eddie, I don't care about the money. Not happening. And if you go ahead anyway, I'm going to announce it publicly. And it'll be as simple as that, because your fans... And your punters, your William Hill dons, don't deserve to get punked because you want to rob the bank some more. Because you want to ride the gravy train some more. It's not right. Yeah? It's not right the YB's coins get got because you want to be, you know what I'm saying? You want to be all on the gravy train. That's what we're not going to do. But not one individual stepped up. Not management team, not promoter, not training team, not AJ himself. And that's why, listen, I've heard, I've seen a few AJ super fans. YB but his arm. YB but his arm. <laughs> Not me. Why should we care, why should you man care more about his arm than he did? Don't make no sense. Oh, but YB humble. He look, no. It's not humble. That's taking the Michael out of your people. That's what that is. Going in there after people paid, paid money for tickets. We didn't pay for 70% or we didn't pay... 50% prices, did we? Did we or did we not pay 50% prices? No, we paid full price. We didn't pay for 
pay-per-view minus an arm. <laughs> yeah? We paid full pay-per-view. And William Hill took full gambles. When I put my coins in there, no one told me, YB, you know, we're going to give you better odds because he got one arm. Hmm, <laughs> yeah? Took full of monies. Took full of coins from the YB. So, yeah. Bottom line. It's on him. And the more the more time goes on, the more frustrated they get with this whole situation. These these mans have taken a Michael out of the sport at this point in time. It's all become a big money money grabbing operation. I mean how much money do you need? When's enough's enough? When does integrity and when does when does your you know what I'm saying? When does when do other things come first? Bearing in mind this wasn't the first time. Or did you believe you were going to go in there? And I think that's probably the case. I think Team AJ probably believed, well, we can go in there and just win anyway. So that, that your arrogance or lack of humbleness, how'd that play out for you? And that's why, in a way, uh, yeah, Fury's annoying, but again, there's got to be some balance. Fury goes too far the other way. He pulls out every time. But there's got to be some balance there. For sure. I mean, to be honest with you, thinking about the combat game, has there ever been a, f a fighter who never pulled out? Which, that in itself implies there's something fishy going on. Because I've never, I've never heard of it myself. Never. 